Alright, people, and welcome to a wonderful game of Planetary Annihilation. I am your caster for today with Ballistics Logistics Oath Alliance. And we are going to do a match. This is round two of the uh, PvP, uh, uh, the 2v2 championship. And it's between two teams. Gunshin and Kogla Colin and Jethrin and Adam West. So Kogla Colin is not with Logistics, but the other three are. Zafod is um, nicely hosting along with us. Um, I believe he's only recording, so you may not be able to view him fully as he plays. And there goes our commanders. And we're off. So it looks like Cole Colin and uh, Gunshin have gone ahead and split up, but they're still doing quite a bit. If they move their way to these mass deposits here, they'll be quite well off, actually. Uh, definitely a lot for them to gain from there. Northward is pretty good. A little few sparser parts here. There we go. Um, but definitely the north is a good way to start. And it looks like that Jethrin and Adam West had also split up. And Adam's going next to the water here. Lots of resources right there for him to grab. Uh, let's see, I can... Just getting my good luck have fun in. And I am believe that this is Adam. I can't be sure, though. So both teams are actually pretty well close to each other, if you just take a look here. Not too far off. Nice mass deposits here and here. So we should see some expansion probably from them towards these. And it looks like they're getting a bot factory up, which is a, something you tend to see from these people. Just go ahead and get a bot factory up. Bots are really nice for using because they can move pretty quickly to far off distances and build about the same at speed and then ground, but they're just cheaper and easier to gain. And we're seeing a bot factory also going for gray or white gray uh, they're getting that out and it looks like they're actually building two separate bases which is sometimes a good idea but can also be pretty bad just for the fact that you split your resources in half and you've got two fabricators going at a time it can just drain your resources which are usually pretty strapped in the beginning but it looks like they're doing the same thing over here so just both teams have split up completely um, it'll be interesting to see how they do things. Uh, they're getting some power up over here. Looks like they don't have any, really any plans to just go for that mass in the middle right now. But definitely they're getting up a power storage, which is always a great idea, especially when you have power generators and stuff going. That will just keep you from just hitting that limit where you have a huge drop in your power. Uh, looks like they're getting a working on an air factory now and not seeing an air factory yet from gray oh there we go so gray is getting out an air factory and it looks like they're pumping quite a few resources into that uh just both the commander and a unit they are going for it uh slowly going to get more mass looks like the commander here is going for the mass fields and we've got a bot on power generation so we should see some scouting going on here soon we'll find out who finds who first which is probably going to make for an interesting turn of events just basic economy building now starting to see two bots just moving upwards and towards just a little bit of lag there but they're going to move up here and probably take all of this which will really help them with expansion uh, commander gang on power here and we see a firefly out they're just going to use that to scout I'm going to start off with the north, it looks like, just to make sure that there's no surprises right up there. And looks like we've got a Firefly out here, and they're going for the south. So both of them are going this. Oh, looks like they're not. They're just going to check out around the base here. Just make sure no surprises are lying in wait for any of this mass. And if they bring them around here, they'll definitely find 
pink or if they bring them around this way. Still just working on gaining more mass here. Some more power going up. Just basic economy building. Oh, it looks like they might have seen them, but I doubt it. And we see another one here, and this one's going up this way. And it looks like they're not actually heading towards it, so they're going to miss each other here. And it looks like that scout's getting dangerously close, and he probably saw at least one of these. I can't be certain, though, but definitely believe so. Very good chance that they've spied each other by now. And here we go. Gray has just scouted Pink, their first base here. So they know exactly where they are, and there we go. Pink's has scouted Gray completely there, and Gray scouted up here. So they now, at least Gray, as far as I know, knows where Pink is, and that's going to allow them to gain a pretty good advantage just with everything going on here. And so we should start seeing some major manufacturing going on here just to build up, and it looks like we've got some bot factories still going here a little bit more expansion out here definitely need those resources and looks like the commander is actually getting on building that there and let's see here still building more bots so one of the signature moves between Jethrin and Adam is just to build a huge row of factories right straight forwards and it looks like they're going to send some builders down just going to build a Tech 1 radar there just to give a good idea of what's going on. Make sure no surprises get, happen. And they may actually run into each other up here. They're going for a... It's like a vehicle fabricator. They're going to probably take a look at getting some tanks going. And it looks like they're getting a vehicle fabricator going also. I'm definitely being harassed by that and that's just totally broken the build order here which is going to give them a chance to get up a factory and that's going to be quite a waste building vehicle fab right here definitely going to give them early access but we'll find out got an early tank coming out and that will provide them some cover if they just move down here it will give them quite a big advantage actually but it looks like they'll probably pass it by without any notice just going straight for that base and we've got one up and it's going straight to vehicle tanks and this one's they've already got one tank out there so just jumping on the tanks here we'll see which one it's, looks like this vehicle fabricator will be done first and they're going to go for bots here and it's going to be a straight off battle going on between those two jumping on tech 2 can't be sure about how many resources but they haven't gotten too much in between here it looks like they're just blowing some power there, but they haven't queued up any of the places here, which is kind of a shame because these two bots could just be running out here unless... Okay, it looks like those two bots are stuck, which is really a shame because they could definitely be right now getting quite a bit of resources from that. Pink is moving up this way. Pretty safe to move over there. And it looks like Gray will probably start another line over here or over here. Uh, still got just have a firefly there just scouting out here making sure new units are coming in from their back and okay they've got tanks attacking here I've already destroyed all the fabric air bots which is a pretty big blow and that tanks just coming down straight towards them and it looks like their tanks are coming out the wrong way which is not a good thing and looks like they're jumping on tech 2 they've got three engineers here working on it and it's oh nope that's a normal factory not tech 2 so it looks like they're still waiting to go to tech 2 unless we've got tech 2 going on here and no tech 2 yet from gray pink is already on it they've got one two three four five five builders on that tech 2 vehicle fabricator and they'll probably go straight to building up tech 2 vehicles uh, getting a second line of bot fabs out well uh bot factories out they're just going to get some doxes out most likely uh, looks like they've paused for a moment and wait i'm back all right rallying the tanks together just so they'll be a little bit more substantial and moving forwards with the commander and this can be a risky move especially with this many vehicle fabric uh, factories coming out 
just because they can overwhelm the commander easily, and it looks like those bots are going on ahead, which is not the best idea. You usually want to have bots behind unless they're actually going to build something. If they are going to build something, then you'll definitely want them but to get working on it, and it looks like they're working on it. more vehicle fabricators. Well, these tanks just go ahead and sit here. And normally what you'd like to see is just see some turrets or something going up around here, just like they've got going here. But you just don't see that, and that might hamper them quite a bit. See some bots running in here just to take out those. Over here, it looks like all of those factories have just been hit and destroyed, and these guys are going down this way. They'll probably head down and hit here or swing around back and just hook them, which will be a devastating blow just to have your base. All of that power just sitting unattended, and doesn't look like they have much more in bots building it. Looks like they're building some vehicle fabricators here, uh, probably to get some t vehicles moving up this way. These ones, looks like they're just roaming straight towards gray over here to their expansions, which could be a devastating loss from that. More ve uh, more bot fabricators coming up here. Uh, not bot fabricators, sorry. Uh, bot factories, they're just building more, and it looks like they're sending their commander in. Uh, pretty good microing. Uh, we'll all watch out with those. Uh, and that bot's just, just ripping apart that and they're just pushing their commander forwards and they've lost any sort of backup for the commander which is a bad move because he's just going to take that damage and there's not going to be much of a way he can repair himself uh, definitely the tanks though are getting in here and that's giving them an advantage looks like these tanks aren't shooting at all which is a pretty big shame just because they could be doing so much damage but they're not Moving forwards here, looks like they're pushing in and definitely getting out some. Looks like they did get one tech two out here, just getting some levelers out here, probably to reinforce this line. And there goes some bots, and they're just going to get hit. They're just no match for those tech one tanks. Those ants just rip right through them. But it looks like on this front here, they've won. And it looks like the two are just going past each other by. There's not much they're doing. And, oh, it looks like there's some interception here. These two tanks are just going to sit it here and just wait for that fabricator to run all the way over and just get hit there. Not going to be much they can do unless they see it coming, which I doubt they will. Tanks are firing it out here, and it looks like Gray wins out that battle. And in this battle here, it looks like Gray's doing quite well. Uh, sending some fighters in, and they're just going to do some scouting on the base, see if anything else is going on that they need to be worried about. And it looks like Gunshin is calling them out for doing something that's not with gentlemen rules. Uh, it looks like they're wall spamming. Yep, definitely something you want to watch out for. One turret with a wall so you can have as many walls as you have turrets and there's only three turrets here so good thing they did decide to delete those otherwise we could have been caught on a technicality and <laughs> looks like Adam didn't know which is something we need to be reinforced and it looks like they're getting a factory up the backside which is going to be a horrible horrible loss they'll just be able to go here kill any expansion that they've got uh, but if they move in this is going to be a mistake because it will alert them that there's a problem over here and these tanks can easily be rerouted and just destroy that and all right that's going to be an it for that secret base now they know exactly that something's going on there more tanks factories going up here. Looks like they're just leaving all their units unattended. Not really doing much with them. And these tanks are just going to come in and just rip it to shreds. See a lot of fabrication going on here. Good job from, I'm assuming this is Adam from the last discussion going on here. Sadly, he's building pelters which are right in the middle. And they're just going to get destroyed so quickly by those tanks. And look at that huge spam going on right there. Just going to hurt it so bad. They haven't really been watching themselves too well. Just all of this flanking going on from them. They've got two sides here, this side, and they're hitting from this side now too. It's just going to do a lot to them.
not going to be much they can stop it with. Building some more factories, those factories went down there, and they've got some levelers in the mix. Just the range on those is going to just rip through all of these tanks coming in. Sending you those ants in will just allow them to take a look, view what's going to be coming their way, and then level that leveler just to take out whatever's in front of them. There's a v another fabric ah, vehicle factory down. Looks like more vehicle factories being built, actually more bots, and they're just building some bot fabricators, or nope, they're building docks there, but those bot fabricators are not being used at all. I'm kind of worried about their economy at this point. Not seeing a lot of expansion, except down here. Looks like they're trying to push up this way, and looks like they've got a leveler going up here, and there goes that leveler. I'm just trying to build a, fa a turret just to stop those tanks from incoming, and it looks like those are not going to go, and that is down. Taking a look here, just add all of this. Look at all of those tanks just incoming. Those tanks are not going to be able to do it. They're just going to get overwhelmed here in a moment. And there you go. Those tanks are destroyed. Huge amount of tanks just streaming in here. And really nice moves on the micro and just bringing them across the firing. All of these can't keep up with them. Uh, more pinks tanks coming in around the backside that's going to really hit it I'm assuming this is Gunshin since he is the one who alerted to the problem that there is so Gunshin's doing quite well with just a ton of tanks in there it looks like tank 2's already tech 2's already up with levelers coming in and they're just going right in on this point just one leveler right there just sitting in and catching any poor ants that just come into its range not much they can do it looks like this front line's starting to buckle the commander's in there and he is almost dead and there goes the commander so they have already lost one commander and it's just not going to be enough look at those so they've got some vehicle fabricators up here and they're just going to take out the backside of this same here and looks like because they didn't deal with the problem it's just ballooned into a lot more and got some anti-air bot uh, vehicles up which is kind of strange usually you don't need to go for them ants are pretty well at taking care of it unless you're really worried about bombers uh, but as far as I can see there haven't been really any bombers and those tanks are going to come in here and they're just going to wreck this party for them but not much in the big scheme of things just with all that's going on here and it looks like their front line has buckled. They didn't reinforce it with enough units. Just not enough coming off. Their build amount is just totally collapsing. Their line is destroyed. What used to be up here is just down here. And they're just going to roll right through this into their base. Take out all of this power. And it's going to be quite a shame. And back to Adam over here. And Gunshin going at it from the same clan, which makes it a little bit harder because you both know what's going to happen and Gunshin's just rolling in with those levelers and just taking out things ripping them apart those turrets are going to be outranged by those levelers and they're not going to be able to stand got tech 2 bots which is surprising um, well not too surprising from Adam it's something he tends to do they're great against rushing defenses but really bad against rushing any sort of vehicles and those tanks are just going to rip through them as they come and same with the levelers moving his commander back just to try to save him from this impending force it's just building right here and this force from pink is just going to swing around the back probably catch these guys off guards cough the power to these um, some more building going on here just working on getting some more tanks out and it looks like we have a glitch here where the tanks being built outside same here also um, but other than that, just lost all of these mechs. Can't, couldn't keep them at all, which is quite a shame. Kind of a battle going on here, not much. Um, the line is totally just gone down, and they're just going to roll through the base now. Not much to stop them. These ones are moving in pretty well. They're going to be stopped here in a moment. And looks like Pink's going to run up against those tanks. And this game is pretty well in the bag, unless they can regroup. Um, but just not really any defenses going on and it looks like Gunshin's been quite quite sneaky here he's just sneaking in these tech 2 facilities which aren't being activated yet okay there we go and looks like 
just bringing in these tanks here just to try and knock down some of the build power but it's not going to be enough they're going to get out some tech twos before they can really harm any build power there the front line here is fuckling just moving it back from up here pushing in and they've totally just ruined whatever they had here it looks like they were going on a tech two looks like a bot fabricator and that's going down if they spread out they're just going to hit all of this power here but it looks like they're just pushing in on the second base looking for that commander they don't want to take a long time with this match just doing what they can to cripple them and then pushing in and all of those tanks are just hitting all of that power and they're going to reach a blackout here commander's trying to get up some bot fabricators just to try to save himself rallying all of the troops around him but it's not going to be enough from this huge force that's coming in from here and this huge force that's streaming in from here this huge force looks like it's going to just mop up all of these units and then come around and just rip through that more units coming down the backside and it looks like there's a nuke and looks like the nukes going to hit at some point and supposedly the nukes hit but looks like it lagged out there we go all right so it looks like they had a nuke up and running probably built back here here we go lots of builders on it just watch that as it gets built so quickly here definitely a great idea to do it just so many resources they're just streaming all of them in and here we go they're just coming down here going to be ripping all this apart just looking for that commander who's just staying near south trying to just dodge all these units incoming yeah, looks like they've almost got finished with the next nuke not much else to do they've taken over pretty much the entire north ridge gotten all the metal they can lots of power going up and looks like just as a last resort just trying to build a few more facilities but it's not going to be enough they're trying to rally all their troops but just the sheer amount that pink has there's not much they can do against that might just swirling around just taking out everything as they go and that t lone tank may find the commander and it looks like he will find the commander and they're probably either going to launch the nuke at the commander or push their units in let's take a look to see if they're going to nuke him and the nuke is over here so the nuke's definitely ready and it looks like it's actually been fired so it's probably going for the commander and at this rate it will probably miss if they did go for the commander which I'm not seeing it did so they probably took out some of the other base but there's not much that the commander can do just against all of these tanks and some levelers there it's just going to rip him apart and it looks like that's where the commander is and all of those and it looks like the commander is gone and it is good game called out by Jethrin and everyone else here and that is it Gunshin and Cola Colin are the winners of this the second round of the 2v2 tournament and that is all